The Woodbury County Board of Supervisors has allocated the last of its American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA, money to the county's new jail project. Supervisor Jeremy Taylor says he won't support giving any more dollars to the delayed and over-budget project. KTIV's Matt Hoffman was at that meeting when the vote was taken. He's in studio tonight. And Matt, why is this last allocation so significant? Yeah, sure, Larry. And it's because the supervisors say it's some of the last money the county has to give. The project started as a $50 million bond, but costs have ballooned to over $70 million. And so far, the supervisors have covered some of that difference with these ARPA funds. But the $471,000 allocated Tuesday is the last bit in that account. Now, supervisors voted unanimously to allocate the money. But Taylor says he won't vote to spend any other county funds on the project in the future. Taylor used this analogy. Imagine you're building a house. You have a set amount of money you can spend. At some point, he says, supervisors have to draw a line in the sand. To me, I'm kind of drawing a line in the sand, at least on, on behalf of myself, that I will not support any more dollars after tonight uh, going toward the project because it would violate a trust from the, the taxpayers to us on the bond. I think the statement that this is the last dollar we have was Supervisor Taylor's opinion, um, and I don't, I don't think that's correct. Um, it's the last dollar for American Rescue Plan Act funds, which are, of course, non-property tax dollars. Now, Supervisors Matthew Ong and Mark Nelson say the county needed to allocate the funds at some point because of change orders at the project, so they say they might as well do it now. Supervisors amended their motion to make it clear they're reallocating the money because of change orders submitted by the Law Enforcement Center Authority. That's the group overseeing the project. Taylor says he's frustrated because the county is the jail's main tenant and the county controls the funding for the LEC Authority. But it's the LEC Authority that has the ultimate say in how that money is spent. We've used every source of funding um, that's non-tax dollars, but at the end of the day, our charge is we are not going to ask taxpayers for any more money, um, and I'll hold that line in the sand. Both Ung and Taylor agreed the county should continue to provide legal funds so that both the authority and the county can continue their legal cases against the project's architect and contractor. The authority and the general contractor, Hausman Construction, have an ongoing disagreement on how much it should cost to install fire dampers that were not properly drawn into the plans by the architect. So the exact amount of money the authority will need is difficult to calculate. So Matt, tell me a little bit more about the, the, the setup here. There's yeah. the Board of Supervisors, the LEC Authority. Right. Why doesn't the Board of Supervisors have this direct oversight? Yeah, sure. It's, it's a little bit of a confusing situation. You can think of it like this. The county controls all the funding, but the authority controls how that money is spent. So in other words, think of it this way. The county controls the bank account, but the authority actually controls the checkbook. They have the purse, so to speak. All yes. right. Thank you, Matt. Well, 